Hello, I want to show how I made a $77 PV combiner box. These parts in theory could handle a lot more power, but I'm only going to have 1000 watts running through it. This combiner box is the type that's needed to be NEC 2014 compliant with a ray level shutdown. NEC 2014 has the least possible MC4 connections. I got most of these items on Amazon. I'm not using affiliate links. The box was painted with Krylon paint that matches my siding and has metric nuts cast into it to hold the DIN rail. The door is a toolless open design and I made all the holes in what will be the bottom of the box. The layout of the box has to reflect the arrangement of the solar panels. So the panels I'm going to be using are Mover G 100 watt in a 5 series 2 parallel arrangement. This will have a working voltage of 90 VDC and a maximum of 108 VDC. Since it's two parallel, I need to install two minus and two plus MC4 bulkhead connectors. And I use 12 gauge wire from each of them to go to the switch. The current is going to be 11.2 amps, and there's one inch spacing between the plugs on the bottom of the box. The larger hole is for one half inch PVC conduit fitting. The PV MC4 connectors are first routed to the breaker switch, and the wires are joined in that inlet connector. The load side of that switch has two wires on the minus side, one going to the earth ground on the surge protector, and then one going over the inlet side of a normally open contactor. This is a PV minus ground layout, so PV minus is connected to the ground, ultimately connected to a ground spike with six AWG bare copper wire. The plus side first goes to a lightning surge arrestor and then to the same contactor. The contactor is very low power, so it will draw only 30 milliwatts all the time. It will be wired up to a rapid shutdown switch on the side of the house when it's installed. It's powered with 24 volt AC, which is typical for doorbells and thermostats. It won't work with DC power. I'll run two conductor shielded wire from the rapid shutdown switch to this contactor so that the array can be rapidly shut down from the outside of the house by the power meter where first responders will expect it to be. The surge protector will help with lightning strikes if that was ever to be an issue. Since I'm only using one pole of a two pole device, I have a spare surge protector insert that I could move over. I also have a surge protector made of series connected metal oxide varistors at the charge controller. They should have a triggering voltage two to three times the maximum voltage of the DC array and should also have a thermal fuse in line with them. In general, both sides of a long run of wire need surge protection. The switch here is 16 amps, which is 32% higher than the design current. A note on the wire that I use, I use 600 volt machine tool and building wire and I have lots of extra 10 American wire gauge wire from other projects. I wouldn't use marine or automotive wire, I like it to be 600 volt rated if it's inside a box or a conduit. But then it should be PV rated wire if the sun hits it, that's a thousand volt insulation rated for UV and acidic exposure. I guess bird droppings are acidic. Thanks and I hope you're able to make a low cost combiner box. And